I'm here now with Tim, the CEO of Jet Charge. Thanks for joining me, Tim. Really no appreciate worries, it. No worries. Now, we met a few years ago. Yes. And you know, thanks for the opportunity. Um, what has changed in the last few years? Wow. <laughs> so much has changed. Every second feels like a year in the EV charging industry. I guess some things have changed with us. Um, Jet Charge is now a vertically integrated technology business. We started out as installers and then we turned into hardware distributors. So we're now the largest of both, but we've got a lot more focus on energy management and back-end technology to better integrate charging stations into the grid and into buildings and a lot more engineering capabilities internally. We've also grown a lot. So when we last spoke, we were probably about 20, 25 people. Mm -hmm. We're now at 150 people across oh, Australia and New Zealand. Well done. Oh, no, well, I mean, it keeps me up at night, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's still good. Yeah. Um, and I think what's really interesting about the whole ecosystem is that there are a lot of new players coming in, uh, a lot of people selling hardware, a lot of people selling software. We ultimately think that the way for our industry to scale is to take more and more of the technology ownership over what's going to be deployed in Australia yes, so yes. that you can fix problems yes, I'm when they you. arise, right? Yeah, this, it's, it's easy to sell a box, right? Yes. But it's much harder to make it work. Damn straight. Uh, and this is a thing that I think all Australians can attest to is that reliability of the network. When you're low on juice and you need a charge, you want that charger to be working. Yes. And the funny thing is that like, the further away you go and the more remote you go, the more desperate you are for the charging station to work. Yeah. And so actually the ironic thing for our industry is that the lowest utilized charging stations, which also are the lowest revenue generating charging stations for public charging, yeah. have to actually be the most reliable charging stations. And so, yeah. um, but you know, we all know reliability is an ongoing issue with charging and everyone has their own challenges. Mm. But I will say that our industry itself is evolving very fast mm -hmm. and that um, I think EV drivers over the next few years mm. will see a massive step change in reliability as they become, for example, government mandated yes. in terms of uptime. Yeah. Because you've seen in America, it's got about 97% uptime. uptime. Yeah. So we're going to see the same kind of numbers come into Australia as well, which just means that the operators need to allocate, you know, uh, not only budget. I know I, I hear a lot, I hear a lot about cash and budget to maintenance. Yeah. It's actually about strategy. You know, where are you going to keep your spare parts? What's your response times? Where are your warehouse is located? Do you have the electricians available? Yeah. A lot of those nuts and bolts that you don't think about a lot uh, all need to go into it. But the most important thing about reliability is the hardware itself. Is the hardware capable of non-stop sessions, one after another, high utilization. Um, so I think we're going to see a massive step change in the reliability of the charging hardware going out. I certainly know that the brands and charging stations we've been putting out there over the past 12 months have like just changed the game in terms of reliability. Yeah. And so I think drivers will be pleasantly surprised. So yeah. Awesome. All right, well, thank you so much, Tim, for coming on. I really no do worries. appreciate it. And uh, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Appreciate right. it.